Previously on Talk That Talk. It is crazy though. Some people ain't been around. I mean, it, if you if you came in in my era, I will tell you, you probably had somebody from '97 still marching, bro. Somebody from like '96, maybe maybe '95 still marching. I mean, that was during and, and that was a different time. That was a different age. That was during the time where people could literally not go to class, but they could show up for band practice. <laughs> and, and go on the trips, and they weren't checking nothing, wasn't nothing going down, and, and you got your refund check, you was good, you left the school in the spring, you came back in the fall and did it all over again, man. Hey, because because they uh because <laughs> because they was changing their major like ten times and didn't yeah. have that uh that financial aid cap. That's what that was. And yeah. and I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know. I hey, this is I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck. There are some people who graduated from the marching band but didn't graduate from the school i I mean let's let's keep it real they can they come around they be like i'm i'm whatever band name alumni but you be like what year you graduate oh man i ain't i i'm still working on it bro i'm still working on it like i went to eight i went to i went to community college and i finished there i got my certification but you know, I'm still, you know, God's still using me. I bet I feel you, man. <laughs> I'm a percussion instructor at the local school, so you know, I, I, that's how I give back. You know, man, I, I'm sorry, but you with the raspy voice and you just came with it, dog. That really sound like one of them old dudes, man. <laughs> All right, man, let's keep it rolling, dog. Out, y'all are terrible. That that wasn't me. That that was that was Quan. All right, welcome everybody to Talk That Talk. We have the unfiltered, unscripted, uncomfortable conversations about band, HBCU, band culture, music, music education, and more. As soon as you come.